This is the second video in a series about candlestick charts, what they are, and how to trade with them. If you haven't seen the first candlestick video yet, you might want to take a look at that too. Otherwise, you could be missing some important information that might help you become a better trader. In the first candlestick video, I explain the differences between candlestick charts and which ones are best for trading. In this video, we'll be talking about the different parts of the candlestick. Once you learn the anatomy of a candlestick, you'll be ready to learn the different candle patterns and how they can be used to help pinpoint good entry points for trades. This illustration shows two candles, one red bearish candle and one blue bullish candle. With most charting packages, you can make the candles any color you want. I prefer to have candles that are red if they are bearish and blue if they are bullish. If the price opens, drops lower, and then closes lower than its opening price, it's a bearish candle. All bearish candles on the charts I will be showing you are red. If the price opens, climbs higher, and then closes higher than its opening price, it's a bullish candle. And all bullish candles on the charts I will be showing you are blue. A candlestick has a body and usually an upper shadow or wick and a lower shadow or wick. The body of a candle is the thick column bounded by the opening price and the closing price. For example, on this red bearish candle, the price opened here, which is the top of the body, and closed here, which becomes the bottom of the body. The highest price reached during the formation of this candle is represented by the top of the shadow, and the lowest price reached during the formation of this candle is represented by the bottom of the shadow. For example, if this candle was seen on a five minute chart, the price would have opened here, it would have climbed to this high sometime during that five minute period, it would have dropped to this low sometime during that five minute period, and then it would have closed here at this price at the end of the five minute period. Some candlesticks have no shadows on one or both ends of their body. For example, this candle opened at this price and then climbed up to this price and closed at its high price. The price never got higher than its closing price, therefore there's no upper shadow. The next candle opened here, dropped down to this level and closed at its lowest price. Since the price never got lower than its closing price, there is no lower shadow. Some candles have very small bodies. This happens when the opening and closing price of the candle are the same or very near the same price. On this candle, the price opened here, moved as high as this, and as low as this, and eventually closed back at or very near its opening price. When the price opens and closes at or near the same price, the candle is called a doji. There are many different kinds of doji candles and we will discuss the most important ones in a subsequent video. By studying candlestick patterns closely, it's possible to better understand the market sentiment. For example, a large blue candle is bullish meaning that traders believe the current price is too low and they are buying at a rate that is driving the prices higher. On the other hand, a large red candle is bearish, meaning that traders believe the current price is too high and they are selling at a rate that is driving the prices lower. By looking at specific candlestick patterns in relation to the trend, you can predict with a reasonable amount of accuracy when a market is ready to reverse its direction. In our next video, we'll begin discussing the different candlestick patterns, how to interpret them, and how to spot market tops and market bottoms using them. By the time you're done with this series of candlestick videos, you will have a pretty good idea of when and where to enter trades that have a high probability of success.